Hello guys! So today we're going to proceed with Barons Essential Words for IELTS reading trainings. So uh, I decided to film myself as well in order to um, make some interconnection between us and uh, uh, to make these uh, videos more uh, easier and uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. So today we're going to proceed with Barons Essential Words for IELTS unit uh, 9 text 1. So on the left hand side we have a text, on the right hand side we have uh, the task uh, and the text calls learning styles. On the right hand side we have the task which, which is answer the questions about learning styles. Questions 1 to 6. Look at the following descriptions of different styles of learners. Match each type of learner with the correct description. Write the correct letter A, B or C next to the numbers 1 to 6. A is visual learners, B auditory learners, C kinesthetic learners. So let's read a first uh, sentence. They are simulated by lessons that incorporate discussions and verbal lectures. So our keywords here are going to be discussions and uh, verbal lectures. As usual, we go to the text and uh, we try to find uh, any of our keywords. Uh, which is basically, which you can see here, A, B, C, visual learners, auditory learners, and kinesthetic learners. At the beginning of the paragraph, they were just saying about each type of the, uh, style. And uh, further, at, as you can see, there is a three paragraphs. In the first paragraph, they were saying about visual learners, and uh, we can highlight it. And uh, further, so about auditory learners, and uh, and uh, here in the following paragraph, kinesthetic learners. In case we go further, they don't ha they don't mention anything about them. So we have to to be uh, very careful with that. And uh, in case of discussion and verbal verbal lectures, let's scan from the second paragraph because we know that that information is supposed to be supposed to be related to one of these three styles of learners. So um, let's scan it and then let's try to find an information which is related to our keywords. So uh, in the per first paragraph, we don't have any information about discussions and the verbal lectures. In the second paragraph, as you can see, we have in the second sentence, the word discussions and uh, keyword verbal lectures. So we can just put that answer to the first question is going to be A, not to waste our time, but to be for sure uh, for our answer, let's read this sentence. They enjoy listening and the talking, so discussions and the verbal lectures simulate them. So it's about auditory learners. So answer to the first question is going to be uh, B, auditory learners. So we're going to put here B and we'll go further. Facial, second question, facial expressions are important to them. So it's everything about facial expressions. This is our keywords. We go back to the text and we see that we already highlighted uh, in which part of the text we have a learner's type. And uh, let's try to find information about facial expressions. So in the second sentence of the first paragraph, as you can see, we have information about facial expressions. So we can just put a visual learners. This is our answer, but let's read this sentence. They rely on their teacher's facial expressions and body language to aid them learning. So the answer to the second question is going to be uh, visual learners. So this is two is gonna be a. So let's read the third sentence. They learn best in circumstances where they can manipulate objects. Our keyword hip is gonna be manipulate. We can't highlight circumstances or anything like that. So I advise to focus on the main uh, word, which is. Uh, manipulate and uh, let's scan all of these three paragraphs where we could possibly have our answer. In the third paragraph, as you can see, 
here as you will see about manipulating materials so let's highlight this manipulating our keyword and uh, let's read the sentence the benefit from manipulating materials and learn best when classroom subjects such as math science and reading are processed through hands-on experiences incorporating arts into crafts activities building projects and sports into lessons help kinetic kinesthetic learners process new information so this is about kinesthetic learners answer to the third question is going to be c and then we go further to the fourth question taking notes in one approach they use for processing information what exactly are they doing in order to process information they take notes so we're going to highlight keyword is taking notes and then we try to find any information related to this uh, to this uh, taking notes so let's uh, scan from the first paragraph and uh, let's try to find any information about notes about taking notes so here in the last sentence of the first paragraph they were saying about detailed notes this is our keyword let's read this sentence many visual learners back conference echo auditory memory skills and so may take detailed notes during classroom discussions and the lectures so this is about visual learners so answer to the first question is going to be a visual learners and we go further to the fifth question they often featured in a conventional classroom setting so here is going to be fidget and uh, we try to scan whole text within these three paragraphs and try to find information fidget in the first paragraph nothing about fidget and the second paragraph as well in the third paragraph as you can see it's here let's read this sentence when they are bored the fidget in their seats uh, so this is related to kinesthetic learners so answer to the fifth question is gonna be C and then we go further reciting information helps them absorb it, it better this is about reciting information this is do not focus on like help or absorb or something like that just to focus on your main keywords in our case it's gonna be reciting information so uh, we go to scan whole three paragraphs and uh, to try to find any information about reciting, uh, inf reciting information so in the first paragraph nothing about that we go on the second paragraph and here we say reciting grammatical theories so let's read this sentence sounding out spelling words, reciting mathematical theories, or talking their way across the map are examples of the types of activities that improve their understanding. So this is about auditory, auditory learners. So the answer to this sixth question is going to be B. So we go further and uh, let's read this task, question 7 to 9. Choose a correct letter, A, B, C or D. Let's read first sentence seven. Verbal learners are. So this is about verbal learners. Better at writing than speaking. Is a b good with words. D c so uh so people. D skilled at reasoning. So you guys know that we already had three types of learners here. And logically, we can assume that we have information about verbal learners somewhere else. It's supposed to be in the last paragraph. And um, let's uh, scan it and uh, let's try to find inf information about verbal learners. Let's highlight here the so word verbal learners and uh, let's read the sentence. Verbal learners, for example, enjoy using words both written and spoken so they are actually good with words 
So the answer to the seventh question is going to be B, because they are saying that using words, both written and spoken. So this is answer to our seventh question. We'll go further. Social learners need other people A or other people around them, B very little encouragement, C both spoken and written instructions, D information presented through diagrams. So our keyword is gonna be social learners. Let's highlight our keywords and uh, let's scan our text and try to find information for social learners. And here as they were saying about social, as you can see it's missed some part. Fair to work alone. Work alone, it means they don't prefer to work alone. They need other people around them. So answer is going to be A, but there will be no missing sentence in your case during answer them because they are very careful with that and you don't have that kind of missing mistake. So we go further. Uh, ninth question. When teachers expose students to all learning styles, the students change their uh, dominant style, B, lose their confidence, C, get confused, D, learn more. So I was saying about teachers, we're going to focus our key keyword is teachers. Let's scan further and try to find information in the text about teachers. We have here teachers. Now let's read this sentence. Teachers who present their lessons using variety techniques that simulate a learning styles expose students to both the dominant and the less preferred methods of learning aiding them to more fully reach their potential as learners. So the answer is going to be D, learn more. So we uh, completed our task. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to publish more videos. Uh, good luck with your IELTS exam. Have a good day. Bye.